Good morning, everyone. This morning, let's look at this old proverb. On your screen, it reads, He who blames others has a long way to go on his journey. He who blames himself is halfway there. But he who blames no one has arrived. Now, this proverb paints a beautiful picture of personal growth through self-responsibility. Imagine a journey towards wisdom where blame is the roadblock and self-acceptance is the destination. Now that whispers, number one, blaming others is a dead end, which simply means that you're stuck in the quicksand of accusation. We waste precious time and energy pointing fingers. This long way to go highlights the stagnation caused by externalizing responsibility. Number two, blaming yourself is a stepping stone. Now, taking inward responsibility, even of painful situations, is the first step towards self-awareness and growth. It's halfway there because it acknowledges our role in shaping our experiences. Number three, blaming no one. This is the arrival point. Now reaching the summit of self-acceptance, we understand that life is a tapestry woven with both internal and external threads. This arrival point isn't a blameless paradise, but more so a state of inner peace where we navigate challenges without clinging to blame. Now remember my friends, the proverb isn't suggesting ignoring external factors or absolving ourselves of accountability. It's more so about shifting or focus from blaming to understanding, from victimhood to empowerment. And by embracing self-responsibility, we navigate life's journey with greater clarity, compassion, and the freedom to learn and grow from every experience. So in closing, my friends, let this proverb be your compass when faced with challenges. Resist the urge to point fingers and instead embark on the inward journey of self-reflection. Own your role, learn from your mistakes, and forgive yourselves and others. In doing so, my friends, you'll find yourself closer to the summit, your path illuminated by the gentle light of self-acceptance. Yeah, man, a word to the wise.